Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up an MLA style paper using Google Docs. Okay, and uh, Google Docs is uh, a lot of people love it because it saves it and does all sorts of things, but it doesn't nearly have the functionality as some of the other programs, um, and it is a little funky how things are done. Um, as a professor, sometimes students will use their Google Docs to write their papers and then send me a link uh, and then I can't open it. So that's not good. So let me show you how to set up uh, a Google Doc using uh, MLA style and show you how you can save it so that the instructor can actually see what you're doing. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we go to our formatting. Okay, and we want to make sure that we are setting up our line spacing and paragraphs. Everything in MLA space is uh, MLA file is double spaced. So just click this right here. Boom, double spaced. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we add the uh, text to be the normal uh, font and size, which is Times New Roman. So for MLA formatting, it's Times New Roman size 12. I'm just going to click on the plus button. Okay, so now we've set up our font the way it should be. So we've got double spaced and font. Okay, um, and then I'm going to, so the first thing you're going to type in is the name of the person who's writing the paper. Then you put in the name of the instructor. Please use their title. Don't just use their first and last name. Okay, then you're going to put which class you're in. And please, oh please, put your section number because your instructor may have more than one section of that class. So it would be it's helpful for them to know that. Then you're going to put in the date. Now, the date is done a very particular way. It's the day, the month, September, and then the year. No commas because the day is shorter than the month. The month is shorter than the year. Whenever we, whenever we do it in this style, it is... Um, there's no commas. And again, this is MLA style. Uh, if you just put, you know, 9 slash 25 slash 23, uh, that's wrong. Or if you put September 25th comma 2023, that's wrong. Okay. Again, I didn't create MLA formatting. All right. Um, okay. And then what we are going to do next is the header. Now we know who wrote the paper. We're going to do the header. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to format and we're going to go to click on page numbers. Okay. And we want to go ahead and have it be in the header, show on the first page, start at one. That's good. So we just hit apply and that'll put it up here. But then we want to uh, type in the last name of the person. Now you'll notice that that is not the same font. That is a different font. Okay, so we need to change that font. So we're going to highlight this whole thing. Just left click and highlight it and change that to Times New Roman size 12. So if you don't do that, then it's wrong. Okay. And then uh, make sure that is not checked. Okay. So leave that blank. And then the options, um, just leave those alone too. Okay. So now we're going to click. So to get out of the header, I'm just going to click down here by the date and it'll go. So now the header is there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is hit enter. And then I'm going to put in the name of the title. So the title is done by clicking on this little button right here and going to center. Okay, now the name of the title needs to be, it's a little funky, where all the uncommon words are capitalized, but common words are not. So, for example, formatting a paper in MLA style. So you'll notice that A is not capitalized and N is not capitalized, but the rest of these are. Why is that? I don't know. MLA stands for the Modern Language Association. The association decided that's what they wanted, and I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do is hit enter. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to left align. Now, every first line should be indented, okay, in the paragraph. So every first paragraph, line of the paragraph should be indented. Now, we don't want to set that up too early because all of this information needs to be left aligned, okay, which is where it's at. Okay, so what we need to do is at this point in time, we need to go back to our formatting and we need to go to align indent and then we're going to go to indentation options. Okay, and then go down here to special indent, click on this as first line 
and it'll automatically default it into half an inch and then hit apply and so it automatically moved it over and then you would type in this is the first line of the first pair uh, graph okay so now we're gonna go and then we just start typing um, like crazy people Woo, look at this go okay and we're just typing our paper along okay actually we'll put a couple of spaces in here just because we'll make it look and I put a little period at the end Boop. okay and then when I hit enter it'll automatically bring it over to indented where it should be so then this is the first line of the second paragraph and then you just start typing away okay now notice that everything here is double spaced there's no extra spaces between any of the lines the space between here and here and here and here and here and here everything is double spaced okay now just to show you how this works i'm just going to copy this part right here and i'm just going to enter and then i'm going to paste it and then enter and then paste it enter and then paste it uh, enter and then paste it. i'm showing you what i'm doing because you'll notice that once we get to the second page it does automatically change the page number to page number two so that was page number one this is now page number two so that means it's set up correctly okay now once you're done once you're done typing your mla paper okay you um need to submit it now again it's been my experience as an instructor and i've i work at multiple schools <laughs> i work full-time at one school and part-time at two other schools and they different use different learning management systems okay but the the most universally accepted format is pdf because pdf basically doesn't change the formatting so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to file we're going to go to download and we want to change this to a pdf okay pdf because some people just like oh i'm going to i'll share it with my i'll just share this with my professor uh, uh, no don't do that because then sometimes if they don't have access they can't read it and the formatting gets messed up so we're just going to go again to download to pdf okay and then that's going to open up on my other screen i'm just going to drag it and drop it over here mm -hmm. and here it is so this is a pdf of what we just did okay so you'll notice that all the formatting is correct so that's how you can do it in google docs without losing the formatting issues when you uh, transfer it to a different format okay and there you go that's how you do mla style in Google Docs. Enjoy.